the number of weather warnings in place. When and where is this storm going to hit? Well, the evening commute, Colette, is going to be particularly rocky, I think, in the west and northwest of the country. Those orange warnings for some uh, western and northwestern counties coming into effect from 5 p.m. onwards. And then you'll see uh, Storm Jocelyn uh, make its presence felt throughout the evening time. And it will be felt right across the country. There are a number uh, of yellow warnings already in place with uh, high winds already being felt. But the key concern is that this coming so quickly in the aftermath uh, of Storm Isha means that a number of trees a number of structures could have been weakened uh, and that more severe gusts uh, could have uh, a double impact effectively at that point in time. So that's going to be something for road users and people who are out and about in coastal areas need to take particular care of as the evening goes on. Here's the latest update we've gotten from Aoife Keely, a forecaster here at Medairn. Yeah, so we're already seeing it now at the moment. Uh, it is going to get increasingly windy as today goes on. There is already a yellow warning in effect for the west and northwest. And as today goes on through this afternoon, we're going to see yellow warnings come into effect for the entire country. And then, of course, later on this evening, orange level warnings are going to come into place for Galway, Mayo and Donegal. So as the day goes on, those winds are just going to be picking up. But even through this afternoon, you know, if anybody's out, maybe collecting kids from school or travelling home or to work or whatever, um, you know, it is going to be important to take that extra bit of care in today's storm. So the feeling is that there will be further disruption, particularly to power supplies if uh, electricity lines uh, are weakened. As you said, Colette, 57,000 people still without power in the aftermath of Storm Isha. Some people uh, will ha have to wait a number of days for their power to be restored, such as uh, the difficulty for crews to get access to and to be able to restore power uh, given the windy conditions that we are seeing. As well as that, we are expecting a very wet day as well, and that will further uh, hamper efforts. It will also weaken soil, so that is something uh, which could see more trees be toppled in the hours ahead. News correspondent Richard Chambers at Met Aaron, thank you for that update.